everyone welcome to WS Cube Tech so guys in our previous session we have covered what are pair plots in our today's session we will be talking about a new plot which is called as strip plot so guys what is strip plot so strip plot over here looks like this so maybe it you can just uh, compare it with the scatter plot as well that they also look like scatter plot but they have some different functionality some different methods that we will be uh, using over here i'll just show it to you that how does they look like so to plot a strip plot over here first of all we will import all the libraries so i'll be importing c on as sns so not ipod but import matplotlib dot pyplot splt and then we will be importing pandas as well so import pandas as pd once we have imported all the libraries over here next thing that we are going to do over here is we will load the data set to load the data set we have a very simple method that we write df is equals to an sns dot load because we want to load the data set so we'll be writing load data set and whichever data set you want to load, you can load over here. My favorite one is tips, so I'll be going with the tips only. It's better to explain as well, like to understand as well, not to explain, but to understand as well. So yes, and if I'll write df dot head, open close the parentheses, and if I run it, I'll get the output in this way that I'll be getting all the columns over here. So we have total bill, tips, six, smoker, sun, no, not sun, but the day, and time and size. Okay. So sun is not sun over here, the sun is Sunday over here. So don't confuse it with day and sun over here. So okay, now we are talking about strip plot. So how to plot a strip plot for that, we all we need to do is write SNS dot strip plot. We'll be plotting the strip plot over here. And suppose if you want to uh, plot only one column, in that case, what you can do, you can write x is equals to. So what is the name of our uh, data frame? It's a df, right? So we will be writing df. I'm in the square brackets, I'll be passing the column which we will be talking about. So let's say I'm talking about the tip. Okay. And data is equal to df. So as soon as I run it, I'll get the output something like this that only one axis is over here and which is giving us the strip plot in this way that all the data has been scattered but in the format of a strip over here. Okay. Once we are done with this, so now let's plot between x and y axis. So I'll be writing sns dot strip plot. And inside, I'll be passing the x-axis. So let's take our x-axis as, uh, let's say, the day. So x-axis would be equal to day. And the y-axis over here would be equal to tip. And where is the data coming from? The data is coming from our data frame. So df. And as soon as I run it, I'll get the output in this way. So we have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Similarly, if you want to add hue over here, so you can add a hue. In a hue, we can add sex that based on male and female we'll get the data so if i talk about over here here on thursdays we have uh, data in male and female the male has been represented by the blue dot and the yellow and the female has been represented by the orange dots over here similarly there is a method called as jitter over here let's see what is jitter it's something new and it's a function that you have not heard of so if i write this and write jitter Jitter, what Jitter would do, Jitter would displace these elements from its place. So suppose, let's uh, just run it without the Jitter. And if I run it without the Jitter, it looks like this. Now what I want, right now, uh, the density over here, suppose I cannot figure out that how many total elements are there in this area or this area. Right, for that, if I want to displace them from their place, uh, either towards the left or towards the right, in that case, I'll be using the Jitter method over here. So I'll be writing Jitter is equals to 0.2. So as soon as I run it, now you can see they have been shifted a little bit. And if you want to shift them a little bit more, it can be 0.3, right? Similarly, it can be 0.4 as well to shift it even more. So this is how they look like. So now uh, it has not happened that they have not shifted top or bottom from their place. The data is there only. The data is in the category of Saturday. Suppose if I talk about this part, it's in the category of Saturday and it's in the range of, uh, let's say three, it's somewhere between three. But only it has shifted a little right or a little left over here. This is your jitter method. Again, I'll paste the same data over here. And as we were talking about hue, that the hue uh, is equals to 6. And if I run it, I'll get the output in this way. Similarly, now what is happening over here is if I talk about this, so I can see uh, some orange dot, I can see some blue dots over here. Some are overlapping each other. So what if I want different uh, of them? Suppose for that, I'll be doing what? I'll be writing dodge is equals to true. 
and it should be a boolean value so we'll be writing true as soon as i done it now you can see we have separate separate sections for both of them we have for male we have the section in blue which has been separated with the female section over here in the thursday's category only so this looks much more better compared to this one right so for that we have used the function of dodge if you write dodge is equals to true they will be shifted from their places and shifted means not just left or right but uh, the male will be categorized in a different place and the female will be categorized in a different place but in the column of thursday only similarly we have palette as well so for palette we can just write p a l e t t e is equals to and we can give any of it so i'll be giving the g n b u and if i close the parentheses it would look like this which is clearly quite not visible so let's use where it is the evergreen one and yeah it is now much more visible so you can use palettes as well over here if you want to uh, talk about the marker so marker is equals to i'll be passing a star here then marker should be what they should be in the form of a star but they are so small right let's increase their size so i'll just paste it over here so marker not the market but the marker again the marker so marker is equals to the star and the size is equals to 3 and i'll close these parentheses and if i run it this is so small and 7 maybe okay much better let's go with the 10 so 10 is okay much much more better so we have marker size plus we have alpha as well over here so alpha as a function i'll be writing alpha is equals to 0.5 to make it a little bit transparent and if i run it this is how it looks like so they are now a little bit transparent similarly if you want to you know separate them put them a little bit away in that case you can just again add the jitter over here i don't like the uh, transparency over here so i'll be just adding jitter jitter is equals to 0.2 so if i run it I'll get the output in this way, and uh, let's shift it even more, 0.4. And if I run it, yeah, this looks much much more better. And let's just add the alpha as well. So I just don't feel good by leaving that alone. Yeah, okay. Alpha is 0.5. Similarly, as you can see, these are nothing but the markers only. And if you remember, we can also give a line width and the edge color over here. So for that, what I'll be doing, I'll be writing line width is equals to let's say two. And if I run it, I'll get a line width of two. And if you want to give any particular color to this line width, for that you can just write edge color, and edge color would be equal to, let's say pink. And if I run it, so this is how they look like. Ah, uh, these one looks like eggs, eggs of you know, I guess tadpoles or something. I don't know. Not the tadpoles, but the frogs, right? Uh, uh, but I, uh, I don't like the color. Okay. So here we are done with the strip plot, and in the strip plot we have so many things over here. So we learned about so many functions. That first of all, if you want to plot it in the x-axis, we have only x-axis. If you want to define the jitter over here, jitter over here means that if you want to shift them a little right, a little left, then you can just write the jitter method, and inside this you can pass any value. And then we have hue. Hue will give us the legend over here where we can define male and female data and then we had dodge dodge over here gives us that if we have a combined data in a single strip it gives us the two strips over here next we learned about the palette and the marker we have also covered in our previous sessions so palette will give us the different colors the next thing was the marker will give us the different markers the size of the markers can be changed over here the alpha that means the transparency can be decreased or increased Next, we learn about the line width and the edge colors over here, and then we created the eggs of a frog over here. So I hope, guys, that the strip plot over here was clear to you, and you have no doubts in the questions. In our next session, we will be talking about the box plot, and stay connected, guys, and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.